we are about to start our ceremony, so if you are standing, there are still some seats, there are some up in the front area. Um, we're going to be starting in just a minute. friends and community members to the 2015 Cresnell Middle School 8th grade graduation. It is my pleasure to introduce co-salutatorian Ms. Ann West to begin our ceremony. Please join me in the flag salute. Ready?
A graduation ceremony is at the same time both a joyous and solemn occasion. The excitement and satisfaction of accomplishment combined with the contemplation of childhood, childhood's end and the beginning of adulthood. At this time, I would like you to observe a moment of silence so that each of us individually and in our own way may consider what is important to us today and what we each have to be thankful for on this special occasion. Thank you. Let me begin by welcoming all of you today to Crescent Oaks 8th grade graduation ceremony. I'm very pleased to have the privilege to speak to you on what I know is an extremely special day. It's special for the graduates, for their proud parents and grandparents, and for their very, very proud teachers. Today is one of those great occasions where we get to celebrate our young people, their achievements, their perseverance, successes as they grow up. It's one of the times we can take a break and reflect, feeling good as a parent or mentor, knowing that the, that the kids you care about are doing just fine and they are on the right path. Graduates, you should know that your moms and dads are very proud of you today. They have high hopes for you and they believe in you, and you are making them proud by showing them what you can do. Take a look at them now. See them smiling and snapping photos so that, it, so that they can record this moment forever. Today is an important day for them. Today, they are very, very proud of you. Today would be a very good time to ask for money. <laughs> Today would also be a good day to give them a hug and thank them for supporting you. Because as much as this is your achievement, this is also the achievement of the people who care about you. That means your mom and dad, your stepmom or stepdad, your grandparents, sisters and brothers, and all the people that care about you. They want you to be the best, and they want you to live up to your potential. Graduations can be seen as a coming of age, a sort of official way to recognize when a person steps into a new stage of life. And graduates, you are stepping into a new stage. With every year you have become a little more independent, I bet you still remember your first day here. It might have been a little exciting or intimidating. I bet when you looked at those sixth graders going to class this year, you thought, they look so little. I can't believe I was ever that young. Get used to it. You'll be thinking that the rest of your life. But when you see younger students, you can tell how much you've grown, how much you've learned, and how much you have matured. Think back to some of the exciting things that happened this year, all the things that you have experienced. You had some great times this year, and maybe some tough times, but you did it. You succeeded. You're ready for the next step, and I ask you as you prepare for that next step to do a few things. First, stop texting your friend about how you wish I would hurry up and finish talking so you can get to the graduation dance. <laughs> Secondly, I ask you to take this chance to dedicate yourself to making the ne this next year even better. Remember that you don't have to follow the crowd. Do the right thing, even when no one is looking. Study hard and remember that you're investing in yourself with every test and every book you read. Make high school great or not, the choice is yours. <laughs> I had to do it, I'm sorry. And finally, don't be in a big hurry to grow up. These are some great times in your life. Don't rush past them. These are great. There are great things coming, and just as your parents are proud of each of you, you should feel proud of yourselves. So congratulations to all the graduates, congratulations to the parents, and finally congratulations to the teachers and everyone else who have helped our graduates reach this point here today. I'll leave you with a final quote from a great author for whom I imagine all of you are familiar, by the name of Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know. 
You are the guide who will decide where to go. I want to wish you the best of luck in your endeavors and let you know that we at Crescent Elk have all the faith and confidence in each of you to complete your high school experience and go into adulthood successfully. Congratulations and enjoy tonight's event. It is now my great pleasure to uh, um, introduce the class of 2015 valedictorian, valedictorian Samantha Alanis. Before I start to recite my speech, I would like to, I would like to congratulate the entire eighth grade graduating class of 2015. Ooh. We worked so hard and we deserve every piece of the diploma we're about to receive. I would also like to thank a few people. I would like to thank my parents who gave me the support and encouragement to thrive and accomplish the great. I would also like to thank my teachers who make the impossible possible. Last but not least, I would like to thank my friends who give me the motivation to get up at 7 a.m. every day to go to school. Now, on with the speech. Let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? The first day of sixth grade, I walked toward my homeroom class. I opened the door and scurried to the first empty seat I saw. The thing that stood out the most was is how quiet it was. Everyone was looking around, probably wondering the same thing I was. One's lunch. <laughs> I managed to make a, make a few friends that day. I didn't know it then, but those friends would stay by my side all through middle school. Throughout that year, I somehow survived the many panic attacks I had about tests and complex homework assignments. The end of the year rolled around like, and really hit me like a ton of bricks. But then I realized it wasn't all over. I was faced with a new challenge, seventh grade. I loosened up and made more friends that year. I stopped spending my lunch in the library and started spending it outside with friends. Maybe that's why most of the best memories are from seventh grade. I was starting to tear down the wall of anti-socialism I built surrounding me in sixth grade. Eighth grade was by far the best out of the three years at Crescent Elk. We got more responsibility, more freedom, and we started being treated more like adults. Eighth grade was the year we grew and blossomed into the people here before you. During our middle school experience, we've made memories that will stick with us for a lifetime. We've had the most amazing three years possible. In those three years, we've built amazing friendships, we've had incredible opportunities, we've pushed our limits to the max, and we've found new passions. These three years have been remarkable. Let's make the next four remarkable too. Thank you. As the principal of Crescent Elk Middle School, I certify to you and to the Board of Trustees that the students before you have met all of the subject requirements to graduate from eighth grade. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, friends, and relatives, I present to you the 2015 graduating class from Crescent Elk Middle School. At this time, I would like to introduce Mrs. Jamie Forkner and Mrs. Angela Greeno, School Board Trustees for the Del Norte County Unified School District, who will present the graduates with their diplomas. Jordan Leanne Caboose. Brianna Leanne Kelly. Carissa Marie King, Honors in Language Arts, Honors in History, Honors in Science for two years, Outstanding Achievement in Math. Morick Walter James Lara. Potter Lee, avid graduate, honors in history, honors in math, honors in science, two years. 
Kia Lowe, Honors in Science, AVID graduate. Katira Sharice Long Soldier. Luis Javier Marquez, Outstanding Achievement in Language Arts, Honors in Science, Honors in Math, AVID graduate. Nicholas Julian Martel. Hannah Marlene Maxwell, Outstanding Achievement in Math. Ayana Marie McCovey. Matthew Anthony McNabb Eagles. Paula Raquel Mello. Brianna Serena Mercado. Kirsten Alexis Miller, Honors in History, Honors in Science, two years. Kasaya Aiden Moore. Tanaya Chikopin Dora Nelson. August Brennan Ortman, AVID graduate. James Dylan Garber. Jasmine Jocelyn Pacheco. Biggest improvement. Jacob Zachary Peldo. Rachel Renee Peters. Tabitha K. Pingree. <laughs> Alyssa Marie Preston Avid Graduate. Ethan Nathaniel Price, Chuck Blackburn Back Basketball Excellence Award, Honors in Math. Megan Elizabeth Proctor. Gabriel Cruz Provenzio, Athlete of the Year. Sebastian Lorenzo Puente, Eric Epperson, Tough Players Win Award. Kaya Dawn Ray. Andrew Michael Ryan Reeves. Christian Todd Riley. Dylan Bradley Rhodes, Biggest Improvement. Vanessa Renee Rubio. Sarah Marie Rubraff, Honors in Science, Honors in Math. Cameron Thomas Rylands. Clara Danielle Sela. Gabriel De Jesus Salazar Alvarez. Gianni Valentin Sandoval, Honors in Science. Ryan Jericho Eli Sanchi. Devin Zane Schillet. Wyatt Daniel Schneck. Taylor Marie Sharp. Michaela Jane Shiflett. Rota Shorty. Susan
Susan Taylee Singletary. Wyatt James Singletary. Daniel Sotelo. Elijah Hunter Stancliffe. Caitlin Louise Summer Stone. <laughs> Haley Ann Stover. <laughs> Colton John Sternad. <laughs> Janu Chow, honors and math, out of graduate. <laughs> Alyssa Joe Thompson. Caitlin Ray Dawn Ty. <laughs> Ashley Doreen Turner. <laughs> Teresita Mireya Ulmer Jensa. Honors in History, Honors in Science. Maria Magdalena Del Cielo Valdez. Honors in History, Honors in Science. Amy Gao Nu Vang. <laughs> Kyle Vang, oh, honors in history, honors in science. <laughs> Kyle Kai Vang. My Lynn, Kirsten Alia Vang, Outstanding Achievement in History, Honors and Math. <laughs> Melissa Ann Vega, Biggest Improvement. <laughs> Quinton Lloyd Gilbert. <laughs> Cynthia Guadalupe Villavazo Cardenas, Avid Graduate, Honors in History, Honors in Science. Angelina Ku Vu, honors in history, honors in science for two years, honors in math, honors in music. Hunter Dwayne Walker. Sean Taylor Lee Walmsley Clifford. Anne Michelle West, host auditorium, top leader, honors in history, honors in science for two years, honors in math, honors in music. Jenna K. White. Junior Yang. Keaton Anthony Hinkleman, honors in history, honors in science, Cassandra Nuki Herr. Carson James Hogan, Honors in Science. Jacob William Rydell. It is my pleasure to present the graduating class 2015 Crescent Elk Middle School. It is now my pleasure to introduce Crescent Elk Vice Principal, Mr. William Einman, to make our closing statements.
We invite you to attend our reception for both graduation ceremonies at 7.30 in a multi-purpose room. There's going to be photo opportunities, and we will be serving cake and fruit-infused water. In addition, there's going to be an opportunity to visit friends and family from both ceremonies. At 7.45, we get an opportunity to preview the gymnasium that our 8th grade parent committee did an excellent job of decorating. We'll vacate the, the gym and the NPR about 8.15, and we will begin our graduation dance at 8.30. We will release our students from the dance at 11 o'clock. To our graduating class, Many of you have spent three years here learning and preparing for the next phase, which is high school. You have the knowledge and the skills needed to continue on and be successful high school students. You also have the skills to continue caring and reflecting so that you will be successful contributing members of our society. We are very proud of you and we look forward to the things that you will do and to witness the great citizens that you will become. To my class, please rise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the faculty of Crescent Oak Middle School, as well as the district administration and the school board of the Del Norte County Unified School District, Mrs. Davis and I are honored to present to you once more the graduating class of 2015. Families, to allow for photo opportunities as our graduates depart, we ask that you please remain seated until the procession has vacated the auditorium. Mrs. Ross? It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. You've come a long way from where we began. Oh, I can't get all the way in the sea again. When I see you again. Yeah, just because all the planes we flew, the things we've been through, that I've been saying about you. Thank you. 